Jesus said you here. Are you floater like me? Or do you actually swim in your pool? Ha! <laughs> Swimmers usually have to watch their pool maintenance a little bit closer because all that activity in the water consumes the necessary chemicals that keep it clean and clear. Of course, that includes chlorine and bromine that destroy bacteria. And you always hear about maintaining the right levels of pH and total alkalinity. But, if you ask me, calcium hardness is the floater of pool care. It doesn't need a lot of attention, just the occasional check will do ya. Hey, kind of like Sergei, ladies. A little attention here and there would be nice, huh? No? Okay. Calcium hardness is basically the amount of calcium and other natural metals in the water. The key is to keep it between 200 and 400 parts per million. If calcium hardness is below 200, water can cause corrosion and staining. But, when a measurement gets over 400, there could be scaling, cloudy water, and clogged pool parts. Worst of all, hard water can cause eye irritation for all those swimmers out there. And nobody wants to wear the goggles all day long. Sergei hates the eye irritations. I use an advanced kit, personally, to test my calcium hardness at home when I open the pool and a couple of times throughout the year. Or, you could just take your water sample to your local dealer's test station. A hardness increase of product, like calcium chloride, fixes low calcium hardness. If your water is naturally hard, you can use a water softener or a metal sequestering product each time you top off the pool. If the calcium level is high because of other chemicals, the only option is to drain some of the water and dilute it with the fresh water. Okay? Okay. So, remember, whether you swim or float, calcium hardness is part of a complete water balancing routine that will keep your pool in the tip-top condition. See you on the water lounge. Ha!